Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks to you that have already subscribed to the channel. Uh, if you haven't, just click the subscribe button at some point during this video. It would be much appreciated and smash the thumbs up button as hard as you can. But obviously try not to break your mouse or phone etc. Uh, this is a very exciting video for me today. Uh, because the outside of the van is going to be pretty much finished off uh, bar a few little cosmetic touches and bits of like paint and stuff to sort out over over time but I'll wait for the summer to sort that out so I've got a nice dry spell um, this video is awesome I'm well excited I am on my way to the local depot to collect a parcel um, I just been away with the fan for a couple of days and unable to collect or receive because uh, I wasn't in a parcel from Shaw Vans. Um, as some of you are aware, I've got my windows from them, um, two side windows and the two rear windows. I've also got some other like bits and pieces from them. I've got the um, wing mirror caps, uh, which I've covered in carbon but they look sick and I'm like the fitment and everything is really good so I checked out their page they've got loads of stuff for different vans and what have you um, so if you haven't checked out um, Shaw Vans please do go and have a look at their stuff but I managed to get well I'm not going to tell you I'm just going to show you in a minute I'm doing the unboxing so as I said, I'm just heading to the depot to pick up the parcel. Um, super, super excited. Um, so I will show you when I pick them up, what's in the box. Um, yeah, super excited. So smash the like button, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow me, my build, building my van for my fam. Yeah, tidy. See you in a sec. Bye-bye. So I've been and I've got them. I'm very excited. So I'm just gonna open the door and show you what they are. Whoa, sidebars. So thank you, Shaw Vans. Thank you so much. Let's crack on with this. Let's get them on the van. Proper excited. Here we go. Yo, I'm well excited. Right, so. First thing I've got to do, um, especially to my van, and some of you guys might have to do it to your van, is to um, just jack it up a little bit so I can get some better access underneath the van. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that sorted um, and sort of like speed mo, play some tunes as I get it jacked up, and then I'll talk you through the next process. So I've got the van jacked up a bit. Um, I'm just laying down, I'm gonna break. <laughs> right, so what we're gonna have to do is remove the bolts that hold the plastic sort of under tray um, on the van. I'll just scoop this down underneath here a little bit so you can see. This plastic under tray, we're gonna just remove the bolts on the side. Uh, they're an eight mil nut. Um, let me just spin you around. Um, there's one just under here. Uh, and there's several that work their way down the side of the van. Um, we're going to get those undone, taken out, um, so we can loosen this under tray down so we can fit the mounting brackets for the sidebars. But that's cool. So, what we want to do is remove all of these bolts. Now, I'm just going to literally show you this one and then I'm going to move along and blast them all play some more tunes and let you see what's going on but you can see that 
um, to remove this plastic cover under tray. So I'm going to work my way down, loosening and taking out all of these bolts and I'll get back to you. sockets and blah 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 but yeah so I'm hoping this is quite an easy mod but we shall see as we progress right so that's all loose so I want to be able to get access to underneath so I shall show you what's going on next So I'm just going to show you these first. So these are the mounting brackets. Um, these are ones that Shaw vans provide with in their kit. So these, this is the rear one, um, and this is the front one. You can see that the holes are slightly different. Um, so if you are purchasing the same kit as I have, you'll notice that the one that's got the extra weld piece in the middle and the hole right at the back is the rear one and the one that's got the hole sort of, I don't know, four inches away from the front is the front one. So we're gonna start with going underneath to show you what you've got to take out of your van, because um, we're gonna place these little guys in. Um, now I've also got a little tip when you sort of have to fit this bit to show you how to get it done. Right, let's move under and see what goes on. So underneath, uh, this plastic trim along the side is these little rubber grommets so I just need to pop out the two that are at the back there's one although I have no idea where it just went um, and then there's one round on the back here too which is just here uh, let's try and get this one out in one piece um, so that's basically what they are uh, and now what you're going to do um, inside that hole which you can see here is one of these um, I suppose it's like a it's basically a bit of metal with a welded nut on it um, that's gonna fit up inside this hole um, just like that okay and then you've got this little piece here um, which you kind of like push onto um, the nut it's like a retainer so what I'm gonna do for you is actually I found this to be a little bit easier so if you pop the retaining sort of bracket pin on to start with okay um, so she's on and then drop her inside um, it makes it easier and what happens when you tighten it up this obviously gets pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and cramps shut um, so I found that to be um, the easiest method now I'm telling you about that because I've already done the other side yeah I was way too excited to get the camera out so I literally smashed that one on um, I want to show you guys this side so that's where they go so there's one that goes in there and there's one that's gonna go in the back there too so let me just set that up and I'll pop that in so again I'm literally if I come around here so you can see what's going on hopefully uh, I'm literally just popping this retaining type bracket onto the nut before and then I'm gonna just pop that inside so I'm just gonna release that down and 
we drop that inside. Oh, fiddly. I'm just going to drop that in there. If I can get it in. That's what they all say. Oh. She's in. Fiddly, I know, but it's there. Right, so I'm going to get hold of the bracket um, to do the rear one and show you what's going on with that bit. I've got the bracket and the bracket itself just slips up inside and the two holes go on. Sorry, the, it goes on the two holes. Right, now you have a washer, I like a spring washer and the nut. So this is when it starts to get a little bit fiddly, but I'm gonna go with the front one first. So let me just pull you aside a little bit. Okay, so now obviously these are, you can do this any way you feel comfortable, but I try and get the washer on first because they're fiddly and then just hold that still get the nut on and just literally give it a few turns just to hold everything together um, obviously I'm not going to do it up with my hand otherwise I'd be also known as Superman but that's not going to happen so and then we just get the rear one lined up same process get my washers now I'm probably going to do it all in one hit this time because I've got not got as much access to this one I only my own fault really so I'm just gonna pull that down pop that on slip my hand under which you probably didn't see because my hand is now in the way but I'll show you on the front one Oof. so the nuts are in and that's just a question of tightening them up now um, so it is a 13 mil um, nut. So we're just going to crank these bad boys up and go from there at the mo. So now what will happen is you'll just tighten away, tighten away, and then that little spring washer nutty thingy that you put on first, you'll just hear it popping as it gets closer and closer to the framework and we'll get those nice and tight so that's kind of tight for the moment oh, but I haven't got a long nose 13 mil bit so I have to kind of pop it off the end and just rest it on there to get the last bit um, so I'll do that in a sec, but I'll just get this back one tightened and then we'll move on to the next bit. Right, so I'm just going to pull that down so you can see. Uh, so that's the rear bracket in and done up nice and tight. Um, so let's move on to the front one and then we can look at actually mounting the sidebar itself onto the van. Right, so we're on the front one. Now, I've just found this little hidden, hidden treasure um i'm gonna be fitting a heater and i was thinking about putting it in the van but i've just found this bit under here so smash the like button and comment below what actually goes in here in this so it's a big gap you can't see my hand's gone in right up under there so i've got a lot of space under there for the heater um so it doesn't have to actually be in the van so comment below tell me what you think or if you know what normally goes under this bit in the van. Uh, I don't know whether it's where the heaters go and I don't know, no idea. Uh, but yeah, comment below, smash a like, do that stuff, happy days. Right, so back to the side bars. Now I've moved uh, this bracket out of the way, I've popped that little thingy out of the way on that side and it's this one just here on that one. So we'll pop that off and then this is the front bracket so that's where the front bracket goes so again we're gonna work putting these bolts in um, and the little retaining like washer nut thing that goes on it 
and we're just gonna so we're gonna sort them out and then we're gonna slip them inside okay. right so then we've got to get this bracket on um, so we're just gonna line it up with the holes and the nuts first and then I'll try and sort of hold it in spot so that arm's gonna hold it there for you right well done left arm I knew you were good at something uh, okay so washer spring washer and nut is the next step so washer spring washer and nut is going on now I'm just gonna loosely do this up so that's that bit on now the one at the back so washer spring washer nut oh man I suppose I'm getting really really excited actually because I want to see what it looks like but before I do the big reveal the van needs a wash <laughs> right 13 mil nut so we need a 13 mil ratchet and spanner or whatever you're going to use socket set and we'll get these boys cranked up that's not a 13 what's that for then Ooh. right 13 get these boys done up lefty loosey righty tighty and all that malarkey release my socket on the thingy it's a bit dodge it slips occasionally ah. that's nice and tight right and the front one so obviously you don't want these bad boys falling off ah. tight as a tiger right bosh Whew. so next step is to do the reverse of these little bad boys so we're going to put all these back in and then we will offer up the sidebar and tighten her up so all those bits that are holding that plastic panel under tray thingy are back on the mounting brackets for the sidebar rear and front is on um, what I'm going to do now is just gently lower the van back down to the ground right so got the bolt with the washer on um, you'll see in here uh, they're pretty cool actually they've got a little bit of room for adjustment and what have you so you can get them sort of matching um, so I'm just gonna get this finger tight onto here if I can um, it's a bit fiddly being a, obviously it's blind you can't see what you're doing but I'm gonna get that finger tight on there or as tight as I can get it with my hand that is anyway uh, and then we'll move on to the back one so that one's on right so again on the back washer and nut um, Pop that on there. And from behind, find the hole and do her up finger tight. Right, I think it's now a 15, 15 mil. So I'm going to get these done up. Um, as you can see, I left the sort of the travel stuff on um, to make sure that. I didn't scratch them in the process um, and then we'll take a look see what they look like Ooh, there's a fun bit let's get all this protective wrapper off Ooh. now I need to go ahead give my van a quick clean before I do the big reveal so there we go YouTube I was going to take you in for a closer look now to take you down there they are it's looking really sweet i'm really chuffed with those so a massive massive shout out to shore vans uh based down in cornwall um huge shout not only have they sorted me out my windows um two sides and the rear barn door windows but i've also got these absolutely awesome sidebars fitted now the van is looking really tasty 
So, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button, follow me for some more videos as I work on my van and hopefully turn it into a beast. Thanks for watching. This is Tom from T-Dubs. See you soon.